This is the sample run through of Blue Book Exercise 5 short forms for cases and this one will go through problem 1. So what you're told is uh, throughout all of these, uh, throughout all the problems in the short forms is you don't have to form the entire full form you're asked to only indicate the short form. So the short form is going to be composed of some portion of the full form that you already included. So you already have all the information you need for each of the citations when you do a short form because you've already done the full form and this is just going to be a portion of that. So the first one is an id problem. It tells you that in the immediately preceding sentence of a legal memorandum without an intervening cite, you cite to Hanharis versus City of Atlanta, and you wish to cite to page 357 of the case. You've been referring to the case in Texas, Hanharis. This is a case where you would use an id. Id tells your reader that you are citing again the same source that you cited in the last citation that you gave, and then id at tells the reader that you changed page numbers, but that that's all that you changed. Um, so if you if you use the exact same information, so for example, if you were citing Han Harris page 356 in the next citation, it would just be a plain id with no additional information. But since the page numbers change, you indicate id to let your reader know it's the same source, and then you indicate any information that has changed from the previous site, which here would be the page number. So you would type in id at 357 period, and then you're going to italicize this. Now you will italicize id and the period. The blue book rules are very specific on that for reasons that uh, really defy understanding, but they are specific and they tell you that you do have to italicize the period as well as um, the id. Id starts with a capital letter when it is a citation sentence. If id is not the beginning of your citation sentence, then you can start it with a lowercase um, i. But ordinarily, if it's just if it's the first part of the citation sentence, you're going to start it with a capital letter, and then the citation ends with a period. The goal of short citation is for your reader to not have to read the full cite over again, but to have enough information to still be able to find the source that you have cited. And so with it at 357, that tells your reader they can still find that information at Volume 65 of Southeastern Reporter, but instead of 356, they go to 357. So as long as they have the volume, the name of the reporter, and a page number, they can always find that information. So let's preview that. Yep, that's what it should look like. And submit it. And there we go.